Get your ears wrapped around the Golden State Media Concepts Basketball Podcast. All the scoop you need to know from college basketball to the NBA and even March Madness. News of your rising stars. Topics on and off the hardwood. This is the Golden State Media Concepts Basketball Podcast. everyone to the Golden State Media Concepts Basketball Podcast. I'm your host Pauline and it is officially set. We are ready for the postseason. We wrapped up officially the end of regular season. Now is a time that we all have been waiting for. Some of us are a little bit sad because our teams are done. Others of us are, like I've been saying all week, very, 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 very excited. Now, I don't know if it's just because it's been a little while since the Kings have made it to the playoffs and things like that. Um, So I guess I'm kind of used to this feeling to where I can be okay with my team just not in the playoffs right now. So... I'm excited to see how the rest of the postseason is going to go. I'm going to give you guys the scores from last night because there were quite a few games last night to wrap up the season. But um, now it's on to the big stage. The stage is set. I'm going to give you guys the standing as of right now and then starting Saturday just right now on Saturday is when the postseason officially begins so we have today kind of like off as well as tomorrow to prep prepare figure it out decide what we're gonna do and get it rolling starting um on Saturday because that's when everything begins so first off just a quick recap of the games from last night and what was going on last night is the Detroit Pistons went to go take on the Orlando Magic. They lost to the Magic in Orlando 109 to 113. Ish Smith of the Pistons, he rounded out the season with 20 points, 4 rebounds, and 10 assists in that final season game. And then for the Orlando Magic, Aaron Gordon He was the top performer, 32 points, 12 rebounds, and one steal for the guy over there, Aaron Gordon. So not a bad game, great game for the Magic. It's always nice when you end on a win, especially at home. Nice little finishing touch. The Toronto Raptors went to go take on the Cavaliers in Cleveland, and this is also Um, A big night for the Raptors. They defeated the Cavaliers 98-83. to So, definitely nice to um, defeat the Cavaliers in Cleveland in the last final game of this season. Cavaliers, it seems like everybody's resting. So, um, you know, I guess that's kind of what they expected to happen or didn't mind happening over there last night. So, the the Raptors defeated the Cavaliers 98 to 83. The Milwaukee Bucks went to go challenge the Celtics and the Celtics defeated the Bucks 112 to 94. I'm going to tell you why that's a big deal a little a little bit later in the show. The Celtics uh, completed the season 53 and 29. Michael Beasley of the Bucks was a top performer with 15 points, 5 rebounds and 2 assists. Amir Johnson 
of the Celtics, however, was the big guy for Boston. 16 points, 5 rebounds, and 1 assist from the forward out in Boston to end their season at home on a win. The 76ers gave a nice run for the New York Knicks. The Sixers lost 113 to 114 in Ma- um, at the Madison Square Garden. Excuse me, Justin Anderson of the 76ers. Big performance from this guy. 26 points, two rebounds, and three assists. And Justin Holiday of the New York Knicks. 20 points, five rebounds, and one assist. We're going to talk a lot about Carmelo Anthony later on in the rest of the show. He scored 17 points for the Knicks last night. The Washington Wizards went to go challenge the Miami Heat in Miami, fell to the Heat, 102 to 110. So again, another nice home court advantage win for the Heat. Trey Burke of the Wizards, he was a top performer, 27 points, four rebounds and one steal for the point guard. So a phenomenal game for Trey Burke. But like I said, just not enough to get it done against Hassan Whiteside and his Heat. 24 points, 18 rebounds, and two blocks for the big guy inside. Still a little bit bittersweet, though, because just not enough for the playoffs for the Heat, even with that win last night. The Brooklyn Nets went to go take on the Chicago Bulls, who excited, 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 excited for the Chicago Bulls, defeated the Nets 112-73. to making their record 41-41. and 41. Archie Goodwin of the Nets, he had 20 points, 7 rebounds, and 4 assists. Um, Jimmy Butler, however, of the Chicago Bulls, him and his squad, kind of like one of those weird squads with um, a lot of veteran experience and a lot of great up-and-coming guys. So somehow, some way, they've gotten it to work. 41-41 to 41 is their overall record. Jimmy Butler... 25 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 assists for him in that game at home to get that last spot in the playoffs. The Mavericks took on the Grizzlies in um, Memphis, excuse me, 100 to 93 was the final score. Dallas topping the Grizzlies at home. De- Devin Harris of the Mavericks, 15 points, 2 rebounds, and 8 assists. Mark Gasol of the The Grizzlies, he had 13 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 assists for his team in that loss last night. And then moving on to a couple of more games from last night, we had the Rockets host the Timberwolves. They defeated the Timberwolves 118-123. to Of course, you guessed it, the two big names coming out of that game, Carl Anthony Towns, 28 points, 21 rebounds, and 3 assists. He's probably one of the only few big guys day in and day out that has just as many, if not more, rebounds than Russell Westbrook. (laughs) Like, quite frankly, let's be honest here. James Harden, 27 points, 10 rebounds, and 12 assists. So nice triple-double in that last game for the Rockets. The Denver Nuggets went to take on the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Thunder lost to the Nuggets at home 111-105. to Jeremy Grant of the Thunder was a top performer with 13 points, 4 rebounds, and 1 assist. As we continue on to some more of the games, we had the Atlanta Hawks take on the Pacers. The Hawks lost to the Pacers 86-104. to Paul George um, definitely kind of bullying his way into the playoffs, but whatever. You got to do what you got to do. 32 points, 11 rebounds, and 3 assists. The Spurs took on the Jazz in Utah, fell to the Jazz 97-101. to LaMarcus Aldridge of the Spurs, 18 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 steals. George Hill of the Jazz, 13 points, 2 rebounds, and 5 assists in that last game of the season. Then my Kings went to go take on the Clippers, lost to the Clippers 95-115 to in L.A., Collie Wall, um, Collie Wally, <laughs> Willie Collie Stein. Sorry, Willie. Willie's a cool guy. I apologize for that. Willie just came out all at once. So, Willie Collie Stein, the center who is doing big things now that he's gotten a time to get in that spotlight. Nineteen points, fourteen rebounds, 
and six assists for Big Willie in the inside. DeAndre Jordan of the Clippers was a top performer, 18 points, 17 rebounds, and two assists for DJ in that win for the Clippers. The Warriors hosted the Lakers. Nice little easy game for the Warriors, 94-109. to Definitely a smooth cruise win for the Warriors. Kevin Durant, he had 29 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. And then to wrap up the evening of all of these games for the regular season, the Pelicans went to go challenge the Trailblazers, defeated the Trailblazers 103-100. to So a nice, solid win for the Pels, but you know, just wasn't enough as far as getting them into the playoffs and the Trailblazers still able to hold on to that number eight seat. So with that, I'm going to take it to a quick break. And when I come back, I'm going to give you guys the, now the standings and the matchups for the playoffs as we get ready for this weekend and beyond. So keep it locked here. You're listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Basketball Podcast. Are you looking for help for your fantasy football team? Check out the GSMC Fantasy Football Podcast. Get today's best advice on who to start, who to sit, even who you should draft. From sleeper picks to red-hot lineups, they got it all covered for you. That's gsmcpodcast.com backslash fantasy-football-podcast. We'll cover traditional leagues, dynasty, PPR, even IDP leagues. When you need fantasy help, there's just one show to hit up. Don't forget to like them on Facebook and follow Follow them on Twitter. Visit gsmcpodcast.com for more info. And welcome back, everyone, to the Golden State Media Concepts Basketball Podcast. So the stage and the lineups, the matchups are all set for the postseason. And so now it's time to either buy your tickets if, well, it's probably past time to buy your tickets. You're probably a little bit late if you waited to, to until this morning. So you're probably going to have to go on like StubHub or something like that and get the resale tickets, but whatever. So if you're planning on going to any of these games, you should probably get your tickets, hurry it up, get your tickets for the matchups. If not, if you're not going to do that, then it's time to start planning with your friends, who's coming over to whose house and what everyone is bringing to watch all these games. So I'm going to give you guys the matchups, the lineups in a second. I'm going to give you guys the standings right now for both the East side and the Western conference. And then I'll give you guys the matchups. You guys can kind of figure it out. But you know, um, for those of us that need this, that extra little boost, a little bit of boost of help so anyway so number one is on the east is the celtics they're able to clinch that spot their overall record is 53 and 29 the cleveland cavaliers at number two with a record of 51 31 the raptors as well 51 31 sitting at number three the washington wizards are number four with 49 wins and 33 losses the Atlanta Hawks are sitting at number 5, 43 and 39. Milwaukee Bucks, 42 and 40. The Pacers, 42 and 40 as well. And then to round out the East uh, um, is the Chicago Bulls with uh, even 500, 41, 41. So those are the eight going into the playoffs for the East. And then over here on the western side of things, the Golden State Warriors are number one with a record of 67-15. The Spurs, 61-21. and Then the Houston Rockets bring in third place on the Western Conference with 55-27. and The Clippers are number four, 51-31 is their record, as well as the Utah Jazz, 51-31. Um, the Jazz are ranked number five. The Oklahoma City Thunder are sitting at number six with a record of 47 and 35. The Grizzlies, 43 and 39. And then to wrap up the west side is the Trailblazers. They are also 41 and 41 on the season. So 
those are your top eight on each side as far as for the playoffs are concerned. So some things to keep a look out for as we get ready for the playoffs, like I said. So starting off, we first have, so the first round begins April 15th. So that's this weekend. And then shortly after that, starting May 1st, is the conference semifinals. That's when that's starting. And then the conference finals are set to start on May 16th. There could be a little bit of wiggle room there, but that's pretty much what has been set for right now. And then we have the NBA draft lottery, which is May 16th. And then NBA finals begin June 1st. So we still have a lot of basketball left quite a bit of basketball left like I said um so this is just when the fun is starting to begin some teams are going to really make that push because it's it's a little bit different when um you have the the playoffs for college you have a one and done game situation so you gotta win it or you're out so but with the nba playoffs you have sort of kind of some wiggle room i guess you could say not too much of course because you don't really want to fall behind in these playoffs but you have a couple more games so you have that chance you can if you if your team loses, you could go back, watch some game film, figure out, make some adjustments, and go on. Whereas in college basketball, you don't have the benefit of taking some time to review some tape. So that's kind of what makes the NBA playoffs and the college playoffs, the NCAA playoffs, a little bit different for me. Whereas I like that sense of urgency and that sense of... Um, you know, I just feel like there's more on the line in the NCAA. But that's just my piece. I know a lot of people love the fact that in the NBA, the playoffs take so long to get through. Because one, you get a lot more games. Two, it does get kind of interesting when it's like two to three. Well, actually not two to three. More like three to three, you know. Um, so, and when it gets close, when it's four, four. Or <laughs> I guess it really could have be four four, right? <laughs> oh, when it gets to be um close matchups. I don't know why I said four four when it's best of seven. So anyways, so like I said, that's gonna be a lot of fun as we get into it. Some of our teams, so some of the matchups to look out for. So the number one Celtics are taking on the number eight Chicago Bulls. That first game is going to be on Sunday. That's game one. It's going to be 6.30 on TNT. That's Eastern time. Then we have the Cavaliers taking on the Pacers. That's actually going to be this Saturday. So that's going to be one of the first games that we see going on into the playoffs. The Raptors are hosting um, the Bucks on as well as on Saturday. So... The Cavaliers are playing at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. The Raptors and Bucks are playing at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Then we have the Wizards hosting the Hawks. That's going to be on Sunday. And then on the West, we have on um, Sunday as well, April 16th, we have the Warriors hosting the Blazers. That's going to be 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have the Spurs hosting the Grizzlies. That's going to be, however, on Saturday, the Rockets and the Thunder. So that's going to be Sunday. And this is going to be not only just the Rockets versus the Thunder, but also, you know, we've been talking about this all season. It seems like at least from the middle of the season and on beyond this is also the matchup of the MVPs, potential MVPs in James Harden and Russell Westbrook. So I think it also has to do with this as well. Who's going to outshine and show out and carry their team in this 
playoff series. Is it going to be Russ? Is it going to be James Harden? You know, who's going to show more uh, more grit? I don't know. I, of course, am always in Westbrook's corner. So, of course, I'm going to take Westbrook when it comes to this. But, you know, this is a matchup that we've been looking forward to. I know that they have probably, now that they know the matchup, are also looking forward to. Because this is kind of when you show, like, okay, you guys have been rooting for, you know, if you're hearted, you've been rooting for Westbrook this whole time. Well, let me show you why it's me and vice versa. You know, so... We've all, uh, you know, here at the GSMC Network, we've all said and we've admitted that the Rockets are a better team overall. You know, their record is um, much better than the Thunder. So it's going to be real interesting to see how this matchup goes on and what it's going to look like as well. And then we have the Clippers hosting the Utah Jazz in L.A., that is going to be kind of a late game on the east side. So that's going to be Saturday um, starting at 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. That's going to be on ESPN. So we have a lot of basketball to talk about throughout the weekend. There's going to be, of course, more to discuss tomorrow. I'm sure Ben's going to give you guys some predictions on some of these matchups as we prepare to move on into the weekend and move on into more playoff talk and the playoff side of things since of course now we are done so the stat MVPs as far as who's doing the best and things like that are some other things that we needed to go over the wrap up of kind of like what are the stats for the season as we look forward like I said into the playoffs so keep it locked here you're listening to the Golden State Media Concept Basketball Podcast. I will give you guys some of those leader stats when we come back. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Welcome back, everyone, to the Golden State Media Concepts Basketball Podcast. So we're getting ready to wrap up this episode but I'm going to leave you guys with the regular season leaders. But first, before we get into that, today is a big day as far as the Knicks organization and Carmelo Anthony. This saga is kind of concerned. So they're having their regular player exit meetings, right? Um, so Carmelo is going to be meeting with the president, Phil Jackson, the GM, Steve Mills, and coach, Horniak today um, in regards to his future. So last night he had 17 points and 23 rebounds in their win over or 23 minutes, excuse me. He had 17 points and 23 minutes in that win over the 76ers last night. And when asked about it, he did say last night that in regards to some training, he trading him, he did say that they might. That's what he said after the game last night. He said there was a point in time when I didn't think I would be back here. So he is a little bit apprehensive um, as far as this con is concerned. He said I'll, that he'll know in more of the upcoming weeks. And he's pretty sure that the organization already kind of has an idea of what they're going to do, whether or not they're going to keep him. It's kind of just when is it going to be admitted that he is staying or that he is not. So anyway, so he did say that he would love to remain in New York, of course, is what he has been saying, but he is very concerned about winning. He said, quote, if everybody's committed to winning, I'm committed to that too. 
I want to win, and hopefully everybody else has that same type of mindset. Now, the Knicks have lost at least 50 games in each of the last three seasons. So, you know, that's that's another thing that he's dealing with as well is, you know, you got a guy that wants to be on the team, but then you guys are losing, and all he wants to do is win, and they're kind of making it difficult to be different if you guys were losing a lot as an organization these past couple of seasons, and then you have a player that's saying that he wants out, he wants out, he wants out, and then it's kind of like, okay, let's just let him go. But you have a guy that's been on your losing team for quite some time and is still committed to you guys, but feels like he's not wanted there anymore. So it's a really interesting situation when it comes to the Knicks organization and Carmelo. So we'll have to keep you guys updated as far as more of that is concerned. So now we're going to wrap up today's episode, um, giving you guys the leaders of the 2017 regular season. So Russell Westbrook. Okay, so these are the offensive leaders. Russell led with um, points per game, 31.6 points per game. James Harden, 29.1. Isaiah Thomas, 28.9. Anthony Davis with 28 points per game. And DeMar DeRozan wrapped up that top five points as far as scoring leaders with 27.3 points per game. On the assists side of things, James Harden leads the pack with 11.2 points per game. John Wall of Washington, he had 10.7 assists per game. Russell Westbrook, 10.4. Chris Paul, 9.2. And Ricky Rubio, 9.1 as far as averaging on assists. And then moving on to the defensive side of things. So rebounds, Hassan Whiteside, no surprise there, leading the pack of big guys owning the inside with 14 points, one rebounds per game. Andre Drummond, he is number two with 13.8. DeAndre Jordan, also 13.8. Rudy Gobert, 12.8. Dwight Howard, 12.7 rebounds per game. So still, you know, let's take a look. And then, you know, if you, <laughs> just to give you guys kind of like an idea is number 10 on that as far as rebound per, per rebounds per game leading that is Russell Westbrook just saying he he wraps up that top 10 so Russ is still in the mix as far as that is concerned blocks per game Rudy Gobert of Utah with 2.6 Anthony Davis right behind him with 2.2 Miles Turner 2.1 Hassan Whiteside, 2.1, and Chris Stops with 1.9, so blocks per game. And then steals per game, Draymond Green leads the pack with 2.3, 2.03, so we'll just say two steals per game. John Wall as well with two, Chris Paul, 1.9, Robert Covington, 1.9, and Jimmy Butler with 1.8. So those are kind of some of those player stats let's take a look as far as fouls are concerned the leading guy with fouls per game none other than DeMarcus Cousins with 3.9 points or personal fouls excuse me no surprise there with his per personal fouls Chris Stops, with 3.7, Joel Embiid, 3.6, Julius Randle, he averages 3.4, and Markeith Morris, big Markeith, with 3.3. So not not um not surprising that it's a lot of these big guys, um you know, kind of leading the pack. There's only one point guard that's Patrick Beverly, he averages 3.3 fouls per game. The rest of them are forwards and centers, so a lot of the big guys pushing on in that. And then as far as minutes are concerned, LeBron James leads the pack with minutes. He, um, per game, he, let's take a look. So overall, 
He averages 37.8. Kyle Lowry, 37.4. Andrew Wiggins, 37.2. And Carl Anthony Towns with 37 even. So a lot of minutes these big guys are playing. Kyle Lowry, the point guard. So as far as that top four and five are concerned. So definitely. And then let's see. This is the last. So let's take a look, you know. These are just some fun stats. I love looking back on the season and seeing just how well some of your favorite players, like how they rank against other of your favorite players and just seeing, you know, how they do. Because to some of us, our favorite players are the best of the best. But then it's nice to see how they stack up against the rest of the league. So anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. I'm your host, Pauline. And you guys have been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Basketball Podcast. I will talk to you guys next time. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play.